so hello guys in today's video we are going to learn about developing uh, basic CRUD APIs in Spring Boot so uh, as you see my screen so I will create a new uh, Spring Boot project you have to select create CRUD project specify the Spring Boot version Java com.example so I will change the artifact name as employee I am selecting jar I have java 17 installed so right now I will use spring web and spring dev tools ok so let's store our application in Spring Boot folder so let's open that so after opening the project let's write our first API so currently there is no controllers so let's add the controller let's right click on the employee folder add name folder controller inside controller let's add new file employee control employee controller dot job so here if you see the package name com dot example dot employee dot our folder name that is controller so we have to uh, apply the annotation as a REST controller. So I'm using control space to get these suggestions. I'm selecting the first one and it's automatically imported. So after that, I will use another notation as request mapping. So in request mapping, I will add employee. Okay, so I will explain you what is a request mapping later. First, let's understand very basic API. So the first thing is, let's check if our application is working or not. So let's write a method that just returns hello world. So to make it as a REST API, we have to apply uh, the get mapping. So here we have to uh, mention the path that is hello. So now we have added this uh, get um, uh, API. That just returns hello world. Let's test this. So let's run our application. So I have started my application uh, by default on eighty eighty port number, as you see here. So let's go to browser and check. slash our controller name that is employee slash path that is hello so as you see in in a controller this controller is employee and whatever the methods inside this controller that are the sub route of under employees so for example employee slash hello employee slash get all employees get employee slash create employee like this so our api is working and we have tested that from the browser but our browser can only make http get request but what if we want to make post request for that i will be using 
another extension that is Thunder Client to test the APIs directly from the VS Code. So I'm installing the Thunder Client API. So after installing, you will see the extension on this left side. And here we can select new request. And we have to select the request type and the mapping that we have created. For example, we have get mapping, so we have to uh, select the get request and we have to give the path. So our server is running on 8080 port. ATAT slash controller slash method. Okay, after you click on the send, you will see the response and the status directly from the Visual Studio Code. Okay, that's all. So now let's add, a, let's create an API that adds a new employee. Okay. For, for now, we are going to use the static uh, array of employee type. So now, let's create a model for employee. So let's create one folder in, in uh, employee folder that is model. And inside model, new file employee.java. So here we will add variables id and name so let's generate the getter setter and the constructor for these two parameters so you have to right click here and select source action and there you have to select generate getter setters then you have to select the uh, properties and click OK. So it will give us the getter setters. After that, we have to generate a constructor. So right click, select source ac action, generate constructors. Let's generate a parameterized constructor and empty constructor also. So I, I will right click and select format document. So it will automatically format our code. So we have two uh, types of constructor, parameterized constructor and uh, the getter setters. So now, so after that, let's add uh, API to say add a new employee. So let's create a method. So method will return employee and the method will be add employee. And in parameter, we have to get the employee. Okay, so who will be sending the employee to this method that is our REST API. So to receive it in an object, we have to give the request body annotation. Okay, and we have to make it a post request. So for that, I'm using post so inside post mapping, let's name this API safe. Okay, so let's maintain a static array of employees. And in this array, we will add every employee. So create an array list of type employee. The list is equal to Array list
Okay, so as soon as we receive the parameter in the add employee, so we will simply push into EMP list. So we are just adding that employee into this list. So initially, the size of this list will be empty. Okay, so let's test our API. So let's open the Thunder client and add a new request. So here we have to give the same path, but change the hello to save because our controller has the method save post mapping. So we have to select post. And we are making post requests, so we have to pass the body. So let's select the body in JSON format and add the JSON. So what kind of JSON key value we are going to add? So if you open the employee model, and you can see there is a two types of parameters, uh, two types of variables, ID and name. So we have to pass the same name, ID. one comma name so the name will be the name of the employee let's say emp bug so let's make this request okay so i'm getting 200 success that that means success and we are getting uh, the same result back because we are returning the same employee that we are passing to this method. So that means the employee is added into this list. So how do we check? So let's add another API to get all the employees. Okay. So list of type employee get all here we are going to return the emp list okay and we have to add get mapping and that will be all so after that we have to add a new request get and employee slash all so let's check so we are getting an empty list that is because every time i make the change in the code our application is starting restarting so as it's restarting the application this array is getting initialized again okay so for that we have to check uh, we have to add the employee so I'm adding the employee. I'm adding uh, three employees. And now let's uh, let's check the get all employee. So let's open get all employee and the send. So as you see, we are getting the list of employees. Even if you open that on the browser because browser can make the get request we can see the result but if you restart the if you restart the application so this array will be initialized again so all the data will be gone so that's why we will use uh, database in the next coming tutorials so in next video, we are going to add HTML, CSS, JavaScript part to make the HTTP request to view the list of employee and create a form in HTML to save the employee. Thank you for watching.